Thank you very much, uh, Frederick. Uh, good evening. Thanks for, for being here. Just landed five minutes, uh, five minutes ago. Uh, before I take your questions, uh, maybe a couple of words uh, by, by way of uh, introduction. As you know, this visit uh, was, uh, a, for me, uh, very important. Um, uh, an opportunity to talk to the president, foreign minister again, and other important uh, counterparts in the nuclear um, sector of Iran. Um, and in view of the um, situation that you have been following and was marked by um, lack of uh, results in our interactions uh, with Iran over the past uh, few months, uh, coupled with a few uh, recent uh, events in the form of uh, some uh, problems at uh, facilities, uh, an unexpected uh, finding in terms of uh, a high degree of enrichment in one of them, uh, I thought it was indispensable uh, for me to uh, establish a dialogue at, at the highest possible level and to try to put things uh, back on track and hopefully uh, get some results. You, I hope you may have already seen a joint uh, statement which has just been issued uh, in parallel uh, in Tehran and uh, here in, in Vienna, which is addressing um, the points I, I just uh, referred to. In the first place, the interactions we have in the inspections, the normal inspection activity, uh, and what is expected uh, from, uh, from Iran. Uh, in the second place, um, the uh, issues related to um, some of the questions about which, you know, locations where we have been uh, trying to find clarifications uh, from uh, uh, Iran. Uh, and finally, very importantly, our ability to establish uh, monitoring and verification uh, measures that we believe uh, are indispensable as a very concrete and very uh, tangible uh, result of this uh, important mission. So this is a bit, if you want, the, 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 the general framework of what I believe uh, was achieved, and I'm very happy to take any questions that you may have at this point. Thank you very much. We have a microphone. Yes. Hello, DJ Gurusi. I am Ahmed Samadi from Iran International TV. Uh, I'm sure a big part of the talks in Tehran uh, were about the three undeclared sites. I want to ask you, how was the Iranian response? Is the, do you have get a new response, or the response was the same before? Well, as you can imagine, uh, uh, when I have a conversation with the president of the Islamic Republic of Iran or with the foreign minister, we are not discussing uh, uh, technical details. Uh, of one or the other location, but rather, as I just said, uh, how we are working and the fact that we need, as uh, I think the, um, uh, my, my recent statements and my reports have been saying the fact that I believe that it's high time we come to some concrete results. So this, this was the spirit of, uh, of the meetings uh, we had. Uh, and I believe we have a clear understanding um, in that regard, uh, so that we can start implementing a number of uh, very concrete uh, measures uh, very soon. Thank you. Stefan Löwenstein with Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung from Germany. Um, have, for example, the enrichment activities uh, up to 60 percent um, uh, been in detail, technical detail, or have you been discussing this with the uh, um, heads of state you have been meeting regarding that it is hardly to explain an enrichment program to this extent with a uh, um, non-military enrichment program? Have they been able to give you an expl explanation for that? Well, in fact, they don't need to give me an explanation of why they enrich at 60 percent. What we, what we need to ensure is that we have the necessary ability to inspect the activities there. They enriched at the levels that they declare, 
there are certain uh, parameters, as you know, between an inspected state and the IEA. They tell us what, this is what we are going to do, and then we perform the necessary inspections. So in that regard, uh, in terms of motivations and reasons, which I believe is a little bit behind your question, uh, we don't discuss that. For us, what is important, the only thing that matters is that we are able to inspect, that we are able to account for every gram of enriched material that is there. And, and, and this is the spirit of the, of the exchanges. And we have been working um, satisfactorily in, in that regard. There have been other types of issues, and, uh, as, you, as, you, as you know, uh, but they are not directly related to this particular issue. Yes, hello, DG. Hello. This is uh, Stephanie Liechtenstein. I'm a freelancer and today reporting for Associated Press. Um, in your joint statement, uh, you say that Iran has expressed a readiness to continue its cooperation on the outstanding safeguards issues. Yes. We need a bit more, some more concrete information uh -huh. here. Uh, this probe has been ongoing for four yes. years. Uh, there was a joint statement exactly one year ago. In what way do you have any more concrete assurances from Iran today than you had a year ago? Uh, what have they promised, so to say, well, uh, concretely? Well, yes, of course. Uh, and uh, as you can imagine, and I, I have been saying, we, we also have been longing for results. Um, and this is why we needed to have this conversation. What we have agreed uh, is on a number of uh, uh, concrete actions like accesses that we are going to have um, to information and places. As you can imagine, this is something that we uh, agree with uh, Iran. And we are going to be reporting subsequently on uh, our conclusions or, or our evaluations, if you want. But what we decided is that we are going to be having a number of technical meetings starting very, very soon, uh, where the uh, effective places, we have discussed the places and the things that we are going to be, uh, to be inspecting. And, they, and you know them because they have been described in all my reports. So uh, when you say details, if you want me to tell you that on this and that date we are going at, at that an exact time of the day be visiting Marivan or, or, or uh, something related to Turquesa, but no, uh, that, that is something which is not relevant. What is important, and I can tell you, is that we have agreed that we are going to be uh, moving on to uh, concrete uh, visits, concrete access to uh, certain people of interest and certain material. So it's a change, yes. Um, Albert Otti, DPA, Chairman Price Agency. Uh, did you have a follow-up and, and a further question? My follow-up on the open safeguards questions is just so people understand what this, what this agreement means. Yeah. When was the, since for how long have the Iranians not been engaging in the open safeguards uh, issues substantially? That's my first question. And the second question is on the further verification that the Iranians have pledged the third point of the joint statement. Yeah. Can you be a bit more, uh, can you go into a bit more detail? Does that mean more frequent inspection? Does that mean turning on cameras that had been mm. turned off? Well, what does it mean? Yes, uh, uh, thank you very much. I think there are different issues in, in your question. One relates to what I was addressing in my reply to Stephanie, meaning that uh, the, 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 the issues, the so-called outstanding issues, the, uh, where we have been uh, working uh, with Iran for, uh, for a long time. The um, uh, evaluation, as you know, of, of the agency has been that we have not, at this point, uh, gotten the, uh, the engagement we are aspiring to. Iran has its own evaluation, and if, of course you can ask uh, Iran uh, about that. Uh, uh, so we are trying to have a meeting of minds so that we can understand um, what is that, uh, in what uh, areas they cannot uh, give us the kind of information we need. And perhaps they need to understand what exactly is it that we want. We have been able to do that. We have been able to describe exactly the kinds of things that we need for, uh, dif for the different places. So, um, uh, and the process has been long, I must say. I, I have not uh, hidden <laughs> that uh, for us it has been too long. Uh, but, well, uh, these things happen. The important, uh, for me, uh, the, the importance of today is where we are today. 
and that I believe that uh, uh, an improvement, a marked improvement, at least in terms of my dialogue with the Iranian government, uh, has been registered. I think I was, I was heard, and I hope we will be uh, seeing results uh, soon. Uh, we will see. The other point that you mentioned is, is, is a very important point for me, and it, it is uh, related to other uh, monitoring uh, measures. As you know, uh, over the past few months, uh, there was a reduction uh, in some of the monitoring activities, additional monitoring and further activities um, in the area of verification that we had related to cameras, related to um, online enrichment mechanisms uh, in terms of um, uh, flow um, uh, monitoring uh, systems uh, which uh, were not operating. So we have agreed that those will be operating again. Now, again, this is a very technical matter, uh, and we are going to be agreeing on the modalities to reestablish this. But this is, in, this is very, very important. It's very, very important because I have been referring um, quite frequently to my preoccupation about the diminishing um, continuity of knowledge. As, you know, it's a bit of a jargon, but uh, what, what this means is that we are losing information on certain areas which are very important. In particular, I should say, in the context of the possibility of the revival of the JCPOA. Since if we don't have uh, information about important aspects related, for example, to the fabrication of uh, centri centrifuges and other things, it would be very difficult for us to give Iran and the parties uh, the necessary assurances to reestablish the necessary baselines. All of this requires a lot of time, requires um, painstaking efforts on the parts of my inspectors and also their uh, Iranian counterparts on reconciling figures, looking at the information. Um, this had been lost. So if I can maybe use um, a figure of thought, uh, we, had, we have put a, a tourniquet on the bleeding of information and, and lack of um, uh, continuity of knowledge we had. So now we can start working again uh, reconstructing these baselines of information. And these are not words, this is very concrete. And this was a deficit we had, which we have agreed with Iran that is going to be redressed. So I hope this makes sense. Any other questions? Stephanie? Yes, thank you for the second question. So just to make sure that I understood you, all of these cameras that have been removed and all the other equipment you, you referred to, you have a pledge from Iran that all of this will be uh, reinstated, reinstalled, so to say. Yes. Yes, okay. Um, so my second question is, um, in your statement, when you speak about additional inspections and monitoring, this is what you are referring to, or no, are you also referring again, to Again, I'm sorry because the, these things are a bit... Yes, um, because uh, what my question would be, do you have any additional pledge that there will be additional inspections in Fordo where the 84% enrichment yes. was detected? This ha we have been uh, discussing uh, as part of the normal, uh, I would say, safeguards procedures that we have with any country. Uh, we came to the conclusion that uh, this particular facility required more uh, inspection activity. We proposed that uh, to Iran, Iran agreed to that, and now we are increasing the uh, intensity of the inspection, uh, inspections effort uh, there, which we believe is important because of the reconfiguration of this cascade. It's a very efficient cascade, goes very fast. So we came to the conclusion, okay, uh, you can do this, but we need to inspect more here. And this is what was agreed, and it's a very important step forward. 50% more uh, inspections that we are going to have there. So I think it's a very good um, uh, improvement in terms of transparency, yes. Thank you. Yeah, about the equipment that will be turned on or again, uh, because I don't remember anymore where exactly it was turned off or taken down, will that uh, re is, does that relate to Fordo or also to It relates uh, to a number of places. Sorry? Number of places. Number of places. It's a number of places, not only, the, not only there. Okay. In in a, different if places. I'm, if I may, uh, 
can you can you say um, sort of can you describe your your discussions relating the 84 percent um, particles or traces that were found? Um, in yes. your report, this I think you said you said uh, the IA is trying to find out whether it was intentional or not. So the question no. is no, yeah. no, no. What we are trying to do again, we we don't uh, have uh, we don't judge intentions. We we saw an, an event which is of course. Uh, worthy of clarification, worthy of clarification, because we had a, uh, information uh, on a certain level of enrichment in a certain facility. After taking some samples, we see a peak. Sometimes, sometimes in, in this type of facilities, there can be oscillations or peaks that can be accidental or can be um, limited in time. Uh, but it can be otherwise. So the idea of this process is to sit down to look at the way in which the cascade, in this case, has been operated, to analyze it. The operator knows uh, how to explain that. Our inspectors know what it means. And so this is the, this is the sense of the dialogue to determine how it happened. Uh, and, and what is important at the same time to say is that there hasn't been any accumulation, mm, production of enriched uranium at that level. This is also very important so people are not misled. Uh, there was a detection of uh, a certain level and then we uh, asked for clarification. But what we have seen in our continuous uh, continued um, observation of the facility is that there has not been production or accumulation of uranium at that uh, level, which is a very high level, of course. 60 is already very high, but as I said, we have um, we, ways and means to inspect it. Thank you. Another question for me, sorry, TG. That's okay. Um, on the reinstallation and reconnection of the equipment, do you have a specific timeline? Do you yes, know yes. exactly when that the, will take you, you, place? You may have seen in my in the joint in, uh, in our joint statement that we said that there are modalities that are going to be agreed. In a very few days, we will have a team uh, there arranging for all of this. It's going to be a process. It takes some time. Okay. And Very on, the, soon. on the on the eighty four uh, percent enrichment from your reply just now, I understood you do not have any additional clarifications uh, that you bring back from Iran on why and how this occurred. No, and I would say that uh, the, the, what, what's important there is to understand, and this is a technical discussion, uh, the reason for this um, uh, for this reading that we had. What's important for us is that. Iran has confirmed the, the degree of enrichment that is expected at that facility, and that degree uh, is being respected. There was this event. We want to, uh, and we need to, clarify it. That's all. Thank you. Another one. Same time question, but related to the open safeguards issues um, about the um, access to information, provision of information, or access to locations or people. When do you expect that to happen? Are we talking about days, weeks, months? Well, we, uh, we try, and, and we will try uh, to, uh, to go as fast as we can. We will determine, as in any process of this type, you can imagine that at, at, at the beginning, because we haven't really started in the way we would like, we, we, we had, and I think I need to say it, we had exchanges on all of them. Uh, Iran gave us some explanations, we provided comments, and there was a little bit of a ping pong uh, without uh, us seeing eye to eye on these things. Um, uh, so now, uh, at a different level, I would say, of interaction is going to be, um, uh, is going to start, uh, and we, we hope to go as fast as we can. But frankly, I'm not avoiding the question or, 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 not, or eluding an answer. It's very difficult for me to say because once the inspectors go and, 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 and see some um, elements, maybe, they, maybe we need to take samples and ana analyze them and, and come to conclusions. So uh, as, as fast as we can. This is, I'm sorry for the vagueness, but uh, I cannot give you another answer. 
Do, do you have an assessment on how, um, how long it would take Iran, if they intended to, uh, to break out, to have enough uh, weapon-grade enrichment um, quantities for mm -hmm. one or five nuclear bombs? Well, this is again something that we always say that we do not uh, apply this kind of uh, metrics, if you want, of breakouts and things like that. Uh, we know, and it's no secret, it's, it, that there, is, there are certain amounts uh, of material at 60%, at 20%, etc., for which you cannot exclude that, as the safeguards um, terminology applies, that uh, a nuclear device can, could be developed. That doesn't mean that Iran is, is doing that. Iran is not doing that. We don't have any information. Nobody has that type, type of information that they are doing that. And by the way, um, amounts like this exist in many, many countries. Uh, what is important, again, and this is the key to the whole issue of confidence, is that we have the access we need. When we have the, all the access we need, when there are no limitations, then uh, materials and uh, reasons and motivations it's up to you and to others to analyze and to, to pass value judgments, not, not, not for me. So, uh, yes, the, these amounts are there, uh, uh, but I, I don't like to speculate three, four, five. I don't see a lot of sense in that, in that conversation. It's there, we inform, um, and this is what, what matters and the value that the IAEA provides to that. Uh, um, I would even say, if you look at different analysts uh, um, out there, you will see all sorts of calculations. So we don't get into that. For, for some, there are, there are no significant quantities. For some others, there are dozens of significant quantities. It's a, it's a game of speculation in which the IAEA is really not interested. Any further questions? Hello. From VOA Voice of America. So it's uh, as you said, it seems uh, that Iran offered you a series of promises, and uh, I have two questions about that. Uh, first of all, I I, li I would like to know if uh, uh, do you have any deadline for this cycle of uh, promises, yeah. and then uh, not f uh, not fulfilling it by Iran. And the first, second question, after your report, do you think uh, is it the possible, there is a possibility for Board of uh, Governors to censure Iran again? Well, the last thing is not a question to me. It's a question for countries. I don't know what countries would like to do or, or, or have to do. Uh, so I'm not into that. On the second, uh, this issue of promises, well, I think, I hope you saw the the joint statement, I, and I hope you, you heard me just now. Um, we have agreed on a number of very concrete things. Not, uh, we, we didn't get a promise that we are going to agree. We agreed to restore monitoring and verification capacities. We agreed that there, we are going to have certain accesses. We agree on many things today. Uh, so, um, of course, uh, we will have to do that. And as always, the agency will be fully transparent in terms of its success. Uh, which I hope for, or, or lack thereof. But, um, but no, we, I didn't receive a bunch of promises. Uh, we were there precisely not to do that with, uh, with Iran, to try to, go, to move into the area of concreteness. And I think we are, uh, we are taking steps in the, in the right uh, direction. I don't want to sound over-optimistic or over-pessimistic. I think it's hard work ahead of us, a lot of work ahead of us, for Iran and for us. Thank you very much. I thank you for having taken the time and staying for so late, uh, waiting, waiting for me. A pleasure, like always, and I think we will be seeing each other very soon. Thank you very much. Bye.